Andrew Cuomo's recent track record as governor has been anything but Catholic friendly. Despite pleadings from Brooklyn's Bishop Nicholas de Marcio and New York's Cardinal Dolan, Mr. Cuomo stood on the sidelines as the state politicians failed to pass a new tax law designed to encourage private investment in education. Ever since he took over in Albany, the governor has been a rabid proponent of expanding New York's already deadly abortion laws. And most famously, he's gone so far as to tell Catholic New Yorkers and all supporters of life sanctity that they're not welcome in his state of New York. Who are they? Are they these extreme conservatives who are right to life, a poor assault weapon, anti-gay? Is that who they are? Because if that's who they are, and if they are the extreme conservatives, they have no place in the state of New York. This November, Governor Cuomo is up for re-election. His Republican opponent is Rob Astorino. He's little known outside of his Westchester County, where he serves as the executive. But he believes his Catholic fate is an asset against a governor he accuses of being unfair to Catholics. You know, the way that Andrew Cuomo has treated Catholics is something that um, leaves to be desired. And I think, you know, when, when you have a position that is pro-life, when um, you take a, a point of view that is traditional marriage, the last thing the governor of New York or anyone really should be doing is saying you're an extremist and you're not welcome in this state. Right now, perhaps the hottest issue for Catholics is helping schools. The Catholic schools are amazing. I don't think anybody can question the success of Catholic schools, not only in New York and what it has meant to the history of New York State, but in America. I think the education investment tax credit it, it's, I'm very disappointed and saddened that uh, Governor Cuomo, who promised that this would pass, basically just tossed this overboard. So uh, I certainly hope it passes. I'm out front in front of it. I will do everything I can to help it pass this year. And if it doesn't, I guarantee it will pass when I become governor. But the biggest issue for faithful voters is the sanctity of life and Mr. Cuomo's push for more abortions. Make mo no bones about it, I am pro-life. Um, I do recognize that this is a pro-choice state. Uh, having said that, we're very much out of balance now. And there needs to be a dialogue on this. And what I will not do is expand abortion to the ninth month of pregnancy, right before birth, which is what Andrew Cuomo is pushing and lost by one vote, which is frightening to me. This is so far out of the mainstream. This is not a Catholic issue. This is, this is an issue for every New Yorker to say, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe it could be called the most hidden issue for Catholics this election. Upstate churches losing parishioners as economic woes force people to flee. People are losing hope in New York. There's no opportunities now. We are, we've had 400,000 New Yorkers flee this state in just three years. That's an amazing number. That's more than any other state in America. And where are they going? They're going to, to states that have opportunities that are welcoming business. We have the worst business climate in America, in New York. We're chasing away businesses. We're making it difficult for them to do business here. And you think about that, that's crazy. Mr. Cuomo isn't actually nervous about losing. He's popular and a Democrat in a state that hasn't elected a statewide Republican since before the Iraq War. But still, Mr. Astorino believes he can win. Now the question remains, are New Yorkers ready to take a conservative turn and deny the governor another term? For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.